Welcome to Dr. Just Runs, and I'm gonna rant about retarded game developers who desires or decides to hire woke journalists to do the work for them. It's stupid, it's retarded, and you get what you fucking deserve. Anyway, from Bouncing to Comics. Sam Maggs objects to lack of lead writer credit for Ratchet and Clank. A rift apart, lead writer reveals Rivet is canonically a lesbian Nixon. Or lesbians. After all, the overrepresentation of the alphabet people is definitely something that has been going on as of late. They think that the overrepresentation is going to solve something or sell more or something like that but <laughs> anyway this one is from the former Mari the Mary Sue writer they really have no self-awareness about this because they are pretty much a Mary Sue recently objected to her lack of credit for serving as a lead writer of the Ratchet and Clank to Rift Apart so basically, I'm going to go and jump. I can make this easy, featuring a female mouse with the same name. This object was the drawing board. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Let's go to the tweets. So this is the retard. Yeah, the retard. <sighs> if you haven't noticed, I'm definitely not looking forward to cover this nonsense. Ah, uh, there you go, much better. Right. Uh, this fun piece that goes into detail about how it developed a rivet. Though it's pretty upsetting and frankly offensive that they never once mentioned me. And given I was the lead writer responsible for a ton of this development. If you'll excuse me while I go and press X, because after all, she's a goddamn fucking moron. Seems like Mark GDC talks talk makes it sound like a bunch of the stuff sprung up from nowhere. I was uh, uh, one of the like four people in the room for most of the rivets development. I was one of the we can't call her a chat. Gadget and River were me. Sucks to have my work released. Uh, uh, yeah, sucks, isn't it? But you got paid for it, so you can't even cry. But you're going to see why she kind of left and why somehow, somewhere... Mm hmm Why? Why this happened to her? You're going to see why. Oh, this speaks to broader issue of game devs being entirely erased from the narrative. Of their own work, once they have a studio, I'm not even credited as a writer on this game, despite dedicating a year and a half of my life to it, and creating Rivet's personality from scratch. <laughs> so, basically you're responsible for her for being so goddamn fucking annoying? Is that it? God damn it. This needs more coffee. You know, if you spent that much time in your goddamn fucking Twitter rant doing something more productive, maybe you would have been graced with something more interesting. Yeah. Where was I? Alright. Uh, God, there's so much more. <laughs> uh, fuck me. Uh, the time where story treatments were being rapidly iterated on. Who wrote every single one of those story treatments? It wasn't Mark, it was me. Actually, I worked my ass off in this game for a long time. It's misogynistous erasure like this that makes my blood boil lixen. Well, suck a cock. In fact, I'm gonna go uh, right on a limb here and say... You definitely are lacking a goddamn fucking cock. You need a cock. You definitely need a dick in your life. You need it a lot. Maybe you need to suck it. But then again, there is a slight possibility that she may, in fact, uh, you know, have the... Right. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Let's go. Someone? Someone, I guess 
because I just don't even deserve a name of or the memory of having been part of a senior leadership on this project for years. God damn it, man. There's people working here buying this, driving me nuts. And saying that in a weekly meeting where the name ideas were being thrown around, someone pitched rivet off the cuff and people immediately loved it. It fit perfectly as another tool like Ratchet. And I also called my the image of Rosie and Riveteer. And so Rivet became canon. Yeah. Somehow I'm still pressing X on that one. I'm sorry about you. People don't actually have a very clean sheet in honesty on things like that. I am sorry, I'm just doubting. I'm not saying it didn't happen, I'm not confirming anything, I'm just saying I doubt it. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. <sighs> this bitch writes a lot. Oh, who might have called this out as being an issue? Could it have been me, the person literally hired to do this job? Jesus! Mm. Right, let's see what she's uh, ranting about. And they began work on Rivet early on under the code name Ratchet, but quickly nixed it for being too diminutive and reducing her existence to a gender swapped Ratchet. Right. Sorry to choose violence today, but I'm not about to let men race and take credit for my own hard work. I'm disgusted and pretty livid. I'm hysterical. I may actually be my periods too. Go suck a cock. Really, I mean it. Go choke on it, if you prefer. <sighs> I, I, I'm so tired. Look, if you idiots actually bothered by hiring someone better, you wouldn't have had a few of the problems you had in during this game. I do remember ranting about this game in the past. I do remember that we have very large problems in regards to character design and stuff like that. See, next time, actually hire someone who's actually good at their job and not some retard for diversity hire. And never ever hire a woke idiot. <laughs> Less you want to lose money, that is. Alright. Um, this two erasure, this total erasure would make me laugh furious if I didn't have the memories of sobbing in offices for hours after fighting tooth and nail to stop Rivet from being cut from the game entirely. Went burnt into my brain! <laughs> well, don't let you. Don't let the character go into your head. It's. It's normal on a development. The, the, on my book, there were characters that I created that in the end I decided not to include. It's just not viable at the time. They may include even the next book, but I don't know. That's exactly normal. But no, you go and throw a temper tantrum. Good lord, the reason why you didn't get fired much earlier is actually mind-boggling. Diversity High, probably the, the Human Resources Department on Diversity High has decided to protect your fucking ass, but then again, allegedly, so... Hmm. Alright, let's see what they say. Rivet needed to be pure cake like Ratchet Sword. We wanted Rivet to be the core gameplay. Her inclusion was meant to be inspirational representation, not a bonus mechanic. In fact, the final product, she makes up about 50% of the playtime. Yeah. Rivet was a team effort and maybe let's acknowledge the whole team. Mark had a massive issue with me the entire time I was on this project and consistently attempted to undermine me, so I'm not surprised he decided to take an electoral credit to my work. Now that's been praised and successful, this is what's like being a woman son in games. Look, you absolutely fucking moron. We know you're projecting here, so this is possibly, probably, allegedly, again, allegedly, that you're just projecting and you're trying to take credit from somebody else's work. There's a possibility. I'm not saying to happen. But there is, because the track record with your name on it is not stellar. Let's just leave it at that. 
Right? So, if your track record wasn't so goddamn fucking shoddy, I would have believed you out of your own word right now. But now, allegedly again, everything here I said allegedly, maybe, maybe not. Hmm, who knows? Also, just for the record, Mark was not my boss, he was my equal Lixon colleague. Lixon. He was the lead designer and I was lead writer. We were both the directly in the game creative director. We were ostensibly equal partners. And as a final note, my experience at Insom, some yak. Overall, was extremely positive, Ixon. The team I work with were in the match and incredibly talented, Ixon. Yeah, after shitting on a lot of the plays and crying and all of that, you now decide to praise them. <laughs> I've rarely found bad or kind of people in the space. I left the studio ultimately because of the creative differences with the leadership. Ooh. I'm trying to sing the name of Roger alternate, the alternate universe counterpart. I started from these car concepts. Should they ideally be named after a tool mechanism? Should also be two syllables to evoke similarity on speaking. Ideally, should end with a hard sound. Ah. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. So goddamn tired of this. Uh, this is, uh, let's see. This is why God it worked so well as an early idea. You immediately understand similarities between the two characters, given the commonality in source material, some sounds. Derived of their gadget from the Rescue Rangers. Yeah, we can see pretty much the similarity, even the goddamn fucking design. You people definitely are creatively fucking bankrupt. But after all, <laughs> what else is new? You people are so creatively dead. Mm. Oh, so, however, finding that gadget was taken, Mark saw, sought an alternative name by going down the lists and lists of tools and text gadgets to assemble a short list that could work. Fuck me. She Probably she went into a... Icky Home Depot or something similar and went there and round and walked. Ooh, right, that guy is possibly a right winger. How dare they force me to walk these people? Ooh, so icky. She probably went like that. Inside a Home Depot and there's ooh, a spanner hammer. Mm. Alright, let's see. Things like Socket, which probably would have been a mouse to prop your, but also kind of like just gross and sucked. Hammer, nah. And rivet. Really? Fuck me. This is just like, oh, fuck. This is like proving the entire concept of what I just said through. Nah, then again. Allegedly. I established a list and sent it out to the team, who then debated and sent the advice. Oh, so you weren't even present. Rivet was an instant win, especially because of the rules with the Riveteer implications. Though Rivet does carry a hammer, so you can see some of his early meaning thoughts speak through in design. Narrative on games takes a lot more than somebody said something at the meeting, guess. Naming especially challenging is actually the hardest thing to do amongst games. I hate so there's a little peek into that. That's... Go, sucker cock. Uh, let's see. None of this was without the team. I came up with this guideline. We shoot ideas. I don't give a shit. You're obviously trying to. You see, you saw you went too far on one direction. Now you're trying to course correct a little. Oh my god! You went too much to die the reason. <laughs> Uh, that, uh, that's why being cut out of conversation hurts so much. It's a team effort, but at the end of the day, I lead the right to name you. You turn to the responsibility, the brother, I don't care. My point here, when I form in terms of the project points out, it was Dev David Kim who threw out the name Rivet to follow the guidelines of Shutterlight's team. Ah. In support of Max Point, David Kim was the person who proposed Rivet's name in a meeting, and it was a hit when he brought it up. Thank you for giving proper credit, a number of us would really appreciate that plus the respect that you've shown me today. So it was somebody else. Mm -hmm. Albeit that person, the way they are claiming here is that David Kim 
probably read it from her suggesting the way they are climbing here, but uh, I have a feeling it goes the other way. But allegedly. The tiny more issues she allegedly encountered through, during the game development, Max then exclaimed, let's not even mention the fights I had to get into and the emails. I have to explain, send explaining why we should take the boobs and makeup of Rivet. Look, apparently I read some of the lore because I never played this game. I think I played it a demo once upon a time, a long time ago, I think. Don't you think what beyond that? Apparently, they are mammals, so she should actually have a boobies. Obviously, a humanoid animal. So that means you could actually have boobies right around the chest here. So why would you take out the boobs and the makeup? All oh, right, right. You need to make women more like men because that's the only way women can succeed, is it? Isn't it? <sighs> Why would an alien and mouse dog have human female secondary sex characteristics and lumbax mammals? Yeah, apparently they are. According to research, they are. Do they breastfeed their young? If we don't answer this question, the internet surely will. And this is a real thing. I had to email at my real job. Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 at my real job? Uh, uh. Are you saying that the current job you have at the Mary Sue is not a real job? <laughs> yeah. mm. <sighs> I literally included this this tweet in my email to be like, do not let this happen to Rivet. Why? Not see anything wrong with it. At one point, my creative director yelled at me in front of the whole office because I kept saying Lumbax titties very loudly in the office whenever anyone would bring up rivet design and it made people uncomfortable. <sighs> yeah, she's definitely not a good person to work with. She's apparently very, very, very difficult to be with around. Even reading her tweets, I can see that her personality is very, very, very... Unfriendly. Allegedly. You know what made me uncomfortable? The Lombax titties. Anyways, thanks in large part to somebody, somebody. Rivet go check the hell and we hit the titty. Yeah. Congratulations, you did that. Even despite Lombax being actually a mammal. A humanoid mammal. But um, that's not that. Stop you after all. All animals speak, right? They walk upright and uh, they speak, they develop tools and things like that. But no, no, no. Everything else. No, for instance, they, 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 I, we should use their logic here. They say that uh, having a uh, casting a black king, a viking, sorry, queen, replacing the actual white king is because it's just Hollywood, it's fantasy, or it's it's unreal, it's just a TV show. Then, then they go and have an absolute shit show when there is a character with titties that is completely fantasy. They need to actually make it more grounded into reality somehow. It makes no sense in their world, does it? Good lord, these people really are a joke. This reads like a joke, but truly this was the argument. Tizzy is a makeup or visual shorthand, so upon looking at the poster, players will immediately know we have a playable female character in the gray. I get it, but you'll never move the needle if you keep pandering. <clears throat> so basically what you want is a... A feminine man and a masculine man. And I actually mean masculine man being rivet and the feminine man being ratchet. It makes total sense in their brain, obviously. And these people are retarded. Is there a Canadian control that's just trans given a chance to tell? For the love of God. 
I love to stun theory I can say that I didn't think of it when working here initially. I'm serious and also stupid. Yes, you are. But I'm a dozen percent to support it. Oh, for the love of God. Also, Rivet is canonically a lesbianismus. Lesbianismus! Because it's mechanicus and mechanicusumus. Oh, zum boom, zum boom. He granted to me special thanks. <laughs> Max name can be found in addition on some new accession with uh, a rivet who credit list of ceremonies alongside the novel individuals who contribute to the game in some capacity. Including Brennan and uh, that guy. Uh, co 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 yeah, yeah, I can't say it. John Paquette is listed the game story lead and along the senior writer. Ah, for the love of God. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. Here's her name. Their story to Max was told that July 2020, in Twitter, he revealed there was an incredibly heated discussion over the topic as the game director and director wanted Rivet to have a visibly freely stereotypical or typically feminine look. Sorry, feminine look! By their hips and large chest, while he. Max and the un well, she, Max and the un unnamed lead character technical director didn't. Well, yeah, that looks like a boy. A real boy ish. Because uh, apparently these people do not understand that um, a humanoid female would actually need a wider hips to actually give birth. And the chest in here to actually give milk. But, uh,. Let's not get into details, shall we? Because after all, it's uh, problematic. According to him, the trio objected to this look because Rivet wasn't human. Regardless, most concept art Rivet has been shown to be to be public uh, to the public depicts her with at least some suggestion of breasts. But the features of her are with a physique radically different to the ratchet, some being more animalistic, and other more monstrous. And after all, why would you want? Very <laughs> games are ratchet and clunky. Have future aliens of all shapes and sizes, with those featuring anatomy closest to humans being robots, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic aliens, or a seemingly actual human like Captain Quark. The series has also had no short of sexual in Wednesday, at least the least of which being the game subtitles and a few slightly more mature gags. The first Ratchet and Clank game we featured in Instagram where they signed a flipping in front of a female NPC made her breasts grow. Ah! Ah! Why couldn't you just resp- ah. This is why you don't hire these people. That's why you don't actually pay them to even go near them. That's why you avoid them at all costs. Ah, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. Yeah, so damn tired of it all.